So normally I don't make a setting video up until the new season releases, but I think this one's kind of worth doing for two reasons. One, I changed a couple of my settings and I want to share it with you guys because I actually think it's a lot better and will help you guys be better as well. And two, there's some things that I've been watching on X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it. There's some things I've been watching on Reddit and some people just have horrible color schemes going on and their games just look washed out. So I want to like hopefully help a few of you guys who have those issues as well. Let's get into the settings. I'll show you guys what I use, what I change and all that kind of stuff. And basically in the first settings that I want to talk about is graphics. And this is just, we're going to go through this really quick right here. The brightness setting right here in your, in, in your, in, in your brightness, in your graphics. Torok joined your party. What is up? Rock. Going to the brightness settings into your in your graphics is what you actually want to change. And as you guys can see here where it says not visible, you want to make sure that that Call of Duty logo is actually not visible. Too many times I see people playing with this set all the way to 100 because you put your phone brightness on 100, you put your monitor brightness on 100, you put your TV to 100, you think everything looks good at 100, but in this game that's not actually the case. In this game, you actually want to make it so that that is actually not visible and the barely visible is actually barely visible. So for me, it seems like 55 seems to be the right spot for you guys it might be different might be 60 might be 70 but don't set it all the way to 100 all right because then it just makes your game look washed out it makes it look ugly and it's not something i would ever recommend running because it just it doesn't look good whatsoever so that is it for that setting right there then there's a few things right here like in the quality you guys could change a few things as well N not much that i would suggest changing here it's the graphics it's gonna have to do with your console it's gonna have to do with everything else but basically what i do is I put my render resolution at 100. The reason I currently can't change that is I think because I have image scaling on right now. It, it's just, I, I do that when recording and stuff, but so that's just set to 100. I'm not gonna put that higher, not gonna put that lower. The higher you put it, the more the, the more your game's gonna look like it's lagging and stuff and freezing and stuff. You just don't want that too high. So 195 even is pretty good. And then I put my texture resolution to low. The reason I do this as well is just because I want more FPS. The lower you put this, the more FPS you're gonna end up getting. The higher you put this, your game will look a lot nicer, don't get me wrong, but you're going to be losing FPS. I prefer having a higher FPS count than my game looking really beautiful or anything like that. And then pretty much here, I just have everything at normal, medium, or pretty much low. So I don't really need to go through these settings too much. I will show you guys every single one in case you want to pause and go and get it, but I don't want to waste anyone's time here. We don't really need to look at these. These are pretty much the same as I always have. But then we got view right here and my field of view I used to play at 110, 115, even 120, but going down to 105, I've realized that it actually, you won't be able to see as much of the enemies as you, you normally could. Your screen's gonna be cut down a little bit, but it just makes the game a lot smoother. The game just feels a lot smoother for some reason. So I have this set to 105, you guys could do the same. I wouldn't, if you're on console, I wouldn't recommend going all the way up to like 120 or anything like that. 105 seems to be pretty nice. ADS field of view, I'm always gonna have this on affected. I don't want this on independent or anything. It's just leave it affected, you're good to go. Weapon field of view wide is fine. Third person field of view, we have set to 80. I never changed this. I think that's the default. I never played third person game modes. I'm sure if I would, I would probably put it up, but we're just gonna leave it at 80. I don't really play any of that. Vehicle field of view, again, default. I just, I feel like when I'm driving around in Warzone and stuff, it looks good the way it is. I don't feel the need to change that. Now, here's a lot of things that people don't turn off. And when I watch some videos or streams or anything and people have these on, I, I just stop watching. I can't, all right? World motion blur, turn it off. If you're, first off, if, if it's blurry, just look at the picture on the right here. If it's blurry, that's what it's going to look like, okay? That is awful. Your enemies are gonna start blending in with that blur. It's not nice. Even though it's just the world and the enemy won't actually be blurry or anything like that, if they're standing in a window, it's gonna be hard to see them. Then we got the weapon motion blur as well. And if you got that going on with the world motion blur, they're just both really bad. That's just not nice. Your gun, you're like, you don't want it to be blurry. You don't want any of that. If you're shooting your shots, you wanna know that you're hitting your shots. So definitely don't do that. Film grain set that down to zero man do not turn that on the ugliest thing alive and then for the camera movement you're going to want to set those to 50 percent you can't go any lower than 50 if you could i'd say go lower than it but unfortunately you can't the, the higher you put this the more movement's going to be on your screen the more annoying it is to just look at and then pretty much all these right here i don't i don't really mess with i think that's how it was at default anyways so that's going to be it for the graphic settings now i also want to talk about controller and audio and that's pretty much it so controller settings i always have to say it 
I play on a PS5 controller, no back paddles, nothing like that. Nice controller. I mean, it gets a little dirty because it's blue, but it's it's a nice controller anyways. So that's what I play with. My edit button layout, I mean, we just got it the same. I, I just pretty much put it on flipped right here, as you guys can see. Flip L2 and R2 to R1 and R2. And the reason I do that is because these triggers are a lot faster to click than the bottom ones. The bottom ones, I mean, you could set it to instantly react and stuff, but I just got so used to playing L1 and R1 rather than L2 and R2. So I mean, I just, I just feel so much better playing like that. Then I got the stick layout preset default controller vibration off. If you could get comfortable playing with this off, I always recommend turning off your controller vibration. I could guarantee most pro players have it off. There's no point in having it on. It, it makes your thumb do little micro movements. You're going to miss a couple of shots due to those little micro movements. That's just not good overall. So I, you can even set it lower if you want and stuff like that or even higher. But personally, I just set it to off so I don't have to worry about this number right here. It is what it is. Now, I'm going to also warn you guys, if you do turn it off, it's going to feel weird for a few days, okay? Not just one or two games. It's going to feel weird for a few days, especially if you've been playing for like 10 years and all your other games, you have controller vibration on and stuff. It's going to feel not right. It's not, but once you get used to it, it's just, it's really nice. And then we got dead zone inputs. Um, I actually got to put mine up right now. My right stick minimum is what I actually got to put up because currently... I, I do have stick drift, all right? My, my right stick is, is kind of moving on its own. I don't even touch it, and my character's moving a little bit. I'm going to put that up probably to around a 7, just see how that is. If it's still moving in-game, I'm going to put it up a little bit. The reason I don't like putting this up is because you actually got to move it more in order to do your aim. So if I'm aiming at someone, if, if I just do a little micro-touch like that, it, it'll register in-game, but then... If I, if I put this higher and higher and higher, that little micro touch won't register anymore. I'm going to have to move it actually a lot more. So I, I don't know. I, I might just leave it at five in all honesty. But if you have really bad stick drift, definitely go ahead and put that up. I, I have it at five. That's I think I'm, I'm going to leave it there to, to yeah, just see whatever, man. Anyways, aiming horizontal and vertical i always put vertical or at least 99 percent of the time i put vertical one higher than horizontal it's just a preference thing if you guys i'm not going to tell you what to do for your sensitivity it, it, sensitivity is very personal is very preference related so if you like playing low play low if you like playing high play high if you like playing in the middle like i do play in the middle the reason i play in the middle is because i feel like you get best of both worlds you get good accuracy still without being too too fast and this isn't even your ads sensitivity so it doesn't matter and you could also turn on people really quickly if you play too low, you might not be able to turn on people fast enough. If you play too high, you might overturn and, and need to readjust and everything. So I feel like this is a decent number. I feel like anywhere between 8 and 14 is where you kind of want to be. But if you guys feel different, go ahead and change, man. Sensitivity multiplayer. We're going to leave it all at 1. No need to change that. Vertical aim axis. Again, we just got it all on standard. No need to change that at all. Tactical sense. Sensitivity multiplier. This one I set to 90. I lowered it just a little bit because in tax sense, it's kind of like hip firing. The aim assist does work, but it's not as strong as if you were actually ADSing. So lowering this makes it a little easier to stick on target. So I put it to 90. I might even lower it to 80 to be quite honest with you guys, but it seems to be pretty good at, at 90, but I'm going to leave it at 80. I'm going to try that out as well. Aim response curve type. We got it at linear. Now you guys could go ahead and mess with all this. I just eh, leave it as is. ADS multiplier wall focus. We got it at one. ADS sensitivity transition timing is instant we don't want gradual or after zoom we do we don't want that we just want an instant custom sensitivity per zoom i have this on you guys are going to want to put this on as well and i'll explain why their ads sensitivity multiplayer on low zoom this is like guns that are under a two time scope just like a one time scope and stuff like that the this is what you want to set to like 0.90 and the reason you want this lower is because it's not your actual sensitivity it's only your sensitivity when you're aiming down sights you don't want that to be super fast or anything you want this to be nice and low and then let aim assist do all the work especially if you're like me and you're playing on controller let aim assist do all the work i don't even know if this is a thing for pc i think they just i don't think they get this option but well i am on pc but i mean mouse and keyboard i don't think this is an option for them and then you got ads sensitivity multiplier for the two and the three times scopes this i set to 0.85 along with the four and five and the reason for this is the bigger the zoom the lower you want to put it because if your zoom is really high let's say you're using a gun like the eight or nine times scope right here you want to put this maybe even lower than 80 because they zoom in so much that every little movement you do feels like a huge movement movement in game so the lower you put this the easier it is the nicer it is and pretty much just i i kind of gradually lower them as we get to the higher zooms and stuff like that that's just me though 
That's why I like that. Target aim assist on. I'm definitely putting aim assist on. It's in the game. Let those let those <laughs> those uh, mouse and keyboard players complain as much as they want. I, I'm leaving it on. It is what it is. We got Black Ops because apparently Black Ops is good again. So Black Ops it is. That's what some people are saying. Uh, you might want to run default precision focusing. I just like Black Ops. I got used to it. It is what it is. I remember back in Modern Warfare 2 when Black Ops was completely broken and it was the one to use because I offered the best aim assist. It might not even be the case anymore, but I just got used to it. So yeah, we're just going to stick to that right there and then that's pretty much it and then for the audio settings quickly here i have my headphones on i got astro a40s i think yeah a40s they're, they're not 50s they're a40s i believe anyways i think the a50s are wireless aren't they anyways yeah this one right here we got headphone bass boost which is nice default system device because well yeah i have i have my headset not connected to a mix amp or anything i got it connected to my microphone so we're gonna use that right there yeah anyways uh speaker output stereo we don't need to do windows default stereo is good then we got master volume obviously Obviously set to 100 gameplay music volume that's the music we're gonna set this to 30 we don't need to worry about that much we want to hear footsteps and stuff if there's music going on we don't want to hear that dialogue volume this is your in-game characters talking to each other we do want to hear some callouts because sometimes they're worth it sometimes they just yell and swear at each other effects volume this is gunshots foot uh, footsteps all that kind of stuff set that to the highest and then obviously I got voice chat off at the moment so I can't change that but I put it to 50 I don't want to hear the enemy like my teammates or anything talking about what popcorn they're eating tonight i don't get i don't care so we're gonna set that to 50 cinematic music volume 100 war tracks volume 100 I, I i don't really mess with those um voice chat i currently have it off because i'm recording and if people join my lobby i don't want them to hear me that's a little awkward but it's going back on and then pretty much yeah yeah that, that's that's pretty much it that's that's all you got to know for audio really is the, the one i showed you up top that's it for the settings i felt like updating you guys hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like if you made it this far comment pink apples are the best because they might be. Anyways, thank you for watching. Sub to the channel. Those notes turned on. We're on the road to 700k. I would appreciate it. My name is Nick, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.